What's up everybody? I'm Slot the Movie Guy. Here's my movie review of Bumblebee, directed by Travis Knight, the director of Kubo and the Two Trings. And this film stars Haley Steinfeld, John Cena, and the rest of the other cast and crew. And in this film, on the run in the year of 1987, Bumblebee finds refuge in the junkyard in a small California beach town. Charlie, on the cups of turning 18 and trying to find her place in the world, discovers Bumblebee, battle scarred and broken. And I was very excited for this film because Travis Knight was directing this film and I was hearing news and buzz that he was going to direct Bumblebee. And I was so excited and happy because I was like, we can finally see a good Transformers movie because the first one, the first one's fine. The rest of them kind of uh, kept doing the thing, kept doing stuff over and over again. The same thing from the last previous film to the other film. It just never felt fresh and new. And Travis Knight directed Kubo and the Two Trains, a film that, like I said again, that he directed. I really, really love that film. It came out in 2016. I thought he had it would have heart and depth to it and characters you like. So I was very curious how he was going to do this movie. So I went in the movie theater, and I left out with a smile on my face. So as Transformers fans, if you was disappointed in the other films, you will not be disappointed with this one because this one just it's it's great this is a good film what i like about it is what it does better than a transformers movie is characters that's the one thing i wanted to see out of the transformers movie was good characters and this film does it we we see our character charlie played by Haley steinfeld we see her character like she's trying to find her place in the world because basically like her her father died passed away she's traumatized from that and basically her mom is married to a new man. And her character just cannot go to that life. She only can feel the, the life that she had before. And she can't, she can't go back to that. So she's trying to find something in her life to do. And she's trying to find herself. And that's what I like about this movie. And they really show that in this movie very well. And they flesh this character out. Which you can really care for this character. And root for her every time. Like wherever she's doing in this film. You root for her. Basically, especially when she's like working at her job somewhere in the fair and stuff, you get to see that, and then you see her going in the junkyard and stuff, getting the different things and stuff like that, and you really felt for this character. And that's what I like about this movie. You just like, and you can, and it just go through the emotions. You basically like, fought, like you was like her at some at some point. You just like, oh man, if that was me, I. I hope I can get through this. And you was hoping that she can win in the end. And you really felt that. And one of the things I really liked about this film is how they did Bumblebee too. Because when you see Bumblebee and stuff, like after the little battle he has with the robots in the uh, in the different and outer space and stuff, and then he comes crashing down to Earth, and then you see the army people chasing Bumblebee, you actually care for Bumblebee too. You hoping that somebody can care for him too. And put him in the, in the world is the same as the same everybody else. And then when these two get together, that's what make the movie work. Those two, when you see those two come together, Char Charlie and Bumblebee, the relationship is like a treat to watch. And you really felt that chemistry right there on screen. It was basically it reminded me of E.T. And that's the one of the things I really loved about this film. This film really does extremely well on that. Let me talk about the acting of Haley Steinfeld and Charlie. My goodness, she does really freaking phenomenally well in this film. I really appreciate her acting here. She does a fantastic job. It was one scene with her mom and stuff where she talks about her life with her mom because her mom, like, telling her, like, it, it, her and her mom got into, like, a dispute or something, like, during, in the middle of the film. That was best acting. I can't elaborate much on because it contains spoilers, but it was just, you could feel that Haley Steinfeld really was acting her heart out. She really did a freaking phenomenal job. I could, I can't say much about how much she did. She just was like freaking awesome. She did good in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse as the Spider-Gwen voicing. And I could see this actress go far in, in her career. She really does a freaking phenomenal job here. And I don't know how much, what much I can say. She just was freaking awesome. It just, 
her, she just drove this film. And there, she was based like the whole thing in this film. I just can't get enough of her. She was just great. And Bumblebee was fantastic. The action was great. The action and the storyline is the one I really felt like did way, way better than the Transformers movie. Because when you when you get the action, the action just is not like elongated in 40 minutes of a movie. That's the part I like. It just so was so long in the Michael Bay films. It was like an hour, you're like, oh man, can we just stop? Get this, get this over with. If, if you liked it, fine. For me, I enjoy the action in my base. They just, it just too long. It was just not there. And just, it was just so long. That's all I can say about that. It was just long. But to hear it just, the storyline was just great with the action because the action just did not make the story convoluted. Sometimes, you have to balance the story and the action. And the action just come like a little bit in like in the beginning of the film. Then we get the story on characters a little bit. And then we get more on with the action here and there. And it spreads out and it's perfectly balanced well in this film. And Travis Knight and the writing team did a fantastic job. The writing team just made a very simple story. It was not convoluted at all. You can basically can know what's going on on each scene for scene, and then directing, it just executed properly well. And that's what much I can say about this film. And Travis Knight did really good. Writing team, thumbs up. One of my only issues with this film is John Cena's character is kind of one of them. He was like the army guy. He's, I like John Cena, but he's here. He just, like, he didn't belong in this film, and I don't know... And I can see he he was trying, and it, but it just the way his character was. It just I don't know. Maybe if it was a different actor, I might it probably it probably work. But here it just didn't work. But I love John Cena. He did good in Train Wreck. I appreciate it. he's a very funny guy. I seen him do great things in other films. But here, uh, and then it's the two villains that was the robots that Bumblebee. They kind of like the main. They like the the villain. They were, they were fine, but they was kind of like one-note villains. That's, personally for me, the way I felt about the two villains. It just, they, they just didn't do it for me. But that's pretty much one of the issues I have with the film. Overall, this film is great. I say, if you're a Transformer fan, if you were looking for a good one, you've been disappointed by the, the ones that Michael Bay have done in the past and stuff. I say this one will put a smile on your face, and I think... You will enjoy this. You will probably tear up the way air for the how this film was made, and I think you will enjoy this film. I want to give Bumblebee a B plus. Whew. Let me know in the comment section down below. What did you think about the film? Did you like it or not? Let me know. I would love to know when you get a chance to see this film. And let me know what is your favorite Transformer movie? Like I said, there. Some of them, like I said, disappointed me. But if you have your favorite, let me know in the comment section down below. Like I said, the first one is one of my favorites. I say it could be a guilty play, but I still find some enjoyment out of it. It's not the best, but anyway, I love, I like that film. It's still lots, some fun with it. Let me know. It's just any Transformer film. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, click thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, click subscribe and the bell button. That's so I can see you next time on Slop the Movie Guy. Peace.